Last time we saw you was in Salem, uh, CIAA championship, second year in a row. Um, what had, what's the role been like for you guys uh, from the end of the CIAA championship to now? Well, just looking at some of the things we did wrong last year, I uh, want to correct those mistakes and continue to get better in the areas that we, you know, we did pretty well in last year. The biggest thing is just being consistent, uh, getting better special team-wise, eliminating big plays defensively, and staying consistent offensively. Right, right. Uh, and you guys, uh, again, the last couple of years, you guys have uh, been been a team to beat in the in the Northern Division, uh, despite not having you know the the scholarship numbers that some of the other schools have had. Right. Uh, just what do you uh, attribute to uh, the success to, um, you know, the, of your program? Guys believing in our coaches. I have a great coaching staff and coach uh, Coach Anton Sue, Coach Moses Ware. Those guys are my coordinators and our players. Really believe in them and believe in what we're trying to accomplish. Uh, it's, it's, it's one of those deals, man. We may, may not have it all, but at some point you got to stop complaining and just put your put your foot on the gas and go. And that's kind of where we are now. And uh, you know we're gonna continue to fight. Right, right. Um, now you won't have one guy to throw to that he had last year and uh, uh, Mr. Mann. But just talk about. Uh, just talk about the receivers that you know how you you don't necessarily replace a guy like that but how do you how do you where where do those who gets those catches now well, we have we have a stable of receivers we feel very comfortable very comfortable with any of those guys um, and we're not a, a a program like i said that's built just a, around one guy uh amir have five or six guys to throw to this year and i run it back and catch out the backfield so it's about just throwing to the open guy i don't care whose name's in the paper somebody's going to get credit for reception and a touchdown so i'm, I'm not according to the names i just want to uh, post to produce you guys have traditionally had a great you know very stout defense mm -hmm. uh you guys have you know with the scoring, of course, it's a higher scoring game now. But uh, where do you feel like your defense is at? Uh, you know, when when it comes to it comes to the league and then outside of the league as well. I mean, we're at the point now where we have to come to play every day. Uh, we had some games last year where, where we played very well defensively and then come back the following weekend and, and kind of didn't do too well. <laughs> kind of gave up some big plays and some turn, uh, some penalties that we shouldn't have, uh, have had. So we want to be consistent. Uh, Coach Sewell understands what we're trying to get done. He'll do a good job gathering those guys and getting them ready to roll for our first game this year. Um, this spring, I actually spent some time on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, just to give them another set of eyes. I'm very excited where we are. We have the players to get it done, and it's just about execution. Right now, you uh, you guys have been picked. I think the last couple of years to be to win the division. Um, how is it going from being you know being a team that you know people kind of you know mm -hmm. you know lukewarm on to being the team looked at as you know in, in your division as the team to beat? I really don't pay attention to it because this is my third year. Well, we've been to the championship three years. Uh, under my leadership, and uh, two of the three years we were pre predicted sixth or seventh. So I don't, I don't pay attention to the prediction. I think it's a, it's hats off to the young men, and and I appreciate where the coaches feel we should finish. But at the end of the day, we still have to play football. Right, right. But do you feel like other teams now maybe definitely have definitely when when they see you coming, they they perk up maybe more than they did a couple of years ago? We're just little old Bowie State. I doubt it. Okay, okay. <laughs> you gonna settle like that? Okay, okay. Um, it's just so what are, what are you expecting what's going to be what's going to what's the leap that's going to take you guys from from getting to the championship game to going and winning and getting to the playoffs and advancing uh consistency um and preparation and which i think we've been doing a great job on the off season and putting everything together come uh come september you know we start camp august the 10th our first game is until september 2nd so we have some time to to uh to get everything together for our first game uh eliminating the penalties i mean that's going to be big as, as a head coach that falls on me getting better special teams wise that falls on me uh, so those are two areas that i'm going into camp uh extremely high on the guys are going to understand the importance of those um uh, issues, and we will have them situated for this year.